Hey, shit. What's up, y'all? Six. All right, look. So. so. All right, look. Look, 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 So today, I'm, I'm going to drop two videos. Yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm about to record two videos right now. So look, this first one I'm going to do, I'm going to teach y'all, you feel me? This this, this from my kings out there, you feel me? Actually, I want girls to watch this too, you feel me? Y'all tell me if this is accurate, like, you feel me? I want y'all to just, just, you feel me, be real in the comments, you feel me? All that good stuff. All right, look, so today, I'm going to tell y'all, you feel me, how to approach any woman. Like, this, bro, I'm telling you it works. All right, trust me. Trust me. All right, look, so... Why am I doing this video? Because you feel me? I feel like society has, you feel me, gave us this blue pill propaganda that we're supposed to just worship any woman and you feel me, do whatever the hell they say and happy wife, happy life. Y'all know the propaganda, you feel me? And it's just, we're raised in it for so long that you feel me, we go into these relationships where we start, you feel me, talking to women, you feel me, based off of chill bro i got you based off of like you feel me what disney and pixar tell us but it's like all that shit is fake you feel me like cinderella like basically i'm gonna be real disney disney fucked a lot of us up i'm gonna keep it a buck so look and saying that like disney took a whole bunch of stories and y'all can look this up if y'all think i'm cat and they made it like kid friendly or they edited it because it's like when i found the real meaning behind these stories like these shits is you feel me this shit's crazy, like, let me see, like, Snow White, like, bro, the real story of Snow White is grimy, it's eerily grimy, but look, so, in saying that, you feel me, a lot of us, I'm gonna be real, a lot of us men are punks, especially when it comes to women, like, you feel me, y'all walk into a building, y'all see this fine chick, and y'all, y'all, y'all niggas start tensing up, I'm finna, you feel me, I'm finna tell you, like, I'm finna tell you how to get rid of all that, first of all, you got to attack your social anxiety because it's like, that's really all that is. And how do you do that? I'm going to give y'all three simple ways. Three, I promise you, like, the easiest shit you can do to, you feel me, work on your social anxiety or, like, to defeat that shit altogether, right? So the first thing you got to do, you got to work out and exercise, you feel me? No woman wants a nigga out of shape. You got to exercise, G. Like, look, you got you to gotta exercise. Number two, the second thing, let me see. Cause I, I'm, I'm freestyling. The second thing you gotta do, yeah, the second thing you gotta do to get rid of your social anxiety is you feel me. You gotta improve your hygiene. You feel me? Cause how you expect to go into public and you feel me, a woman to like notice you or some shit, and you dusty like you don't. You feel me? You don't look like you're taking care of yourself. So you feel me? All you gotta do, you feel me? Let me think. Let me think of specific hygienal stuff. Cause I wanna get like real specific. All right, look, here's what here's what I do. I don't, I don't, you, 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 you gotta listen to me. Here's what I do, you feel me? I got two different type of facial cleansers. I got this toothpaste that's like whitening, fluoride free, you feel me? With coconut oil in it. Let's see. I use Old Spice soap and I got like five different colognes. So that's five things for the second thing you need to do to, you feel me, reduce your social anxiety. That's just, you feel me, how you get your hygiene right. Like, that way, that's that's what I use. Take it and run with it. Oh, deodorant. Get you some good deodorant. I'm about to change deodorants because right now, the deodorant I was using, you feel me, it made my armpits, like, break out. And you feel, I wasn't messing with it. So, it's like, I'm probably going to look at some more, look for some more natural deodorant. Y'all call me natural deodorants right now. And the third thing you got to do, you got to talk to more people, you feel me. You can't be nervous. Like, I'm going to just keep it frank with y'all. When you walk into a room, any room here's what you got to think about like when you walk in you want every woman in there to look at you and think you got the biggest balls i don't care how tall you are i don't care how short you are all you got to do is walk in there like you got the biggest balls in there you feel me you walk in there chest up you feel me you're not necessarily looking at anything you're just looking to the distance you feel me scoping the area you walk in you, you just walking you feel me you're just chilling mind your business you feel me you can't look like you're too focused on anything, you feel me? Like, when you walk into a room, like, I'm being, like, I'm being metaphorically and physically. Like, when you walk into a room, guys, you feel me? Y'all got to walk in like, I'm that nigga. And in order to be that nigga, you really got to become that nigga so you can believe that you're that nigga. Look, let me not even say nigga. Y'all got to become kings, you feel me? Like, when you walk into the room, 
Like, if the woman ain't, because look, the women pay attention to everything. So it's like, they going to see you whether you dusty or not. You feel me? If you don't see, like, let's say you walk into a room full of five women. If 50%, 10 women, if 50% of them 10 women, you feel me? You don't catch them out your side eye. Because like I said, you're not focusing on anything when you walk into the room. If 50% of them are not at least smiling at you or like you can feel their energy coming towards you when they stare at you or whatever, then you feel me? You fucked up. You already fucked up. They can sniff it in you, bro. Cause look, I ain't gonna lie, when I walk into a room, you feel me, on my soul, like, you can ask anybody to know me, when I walk into a room, it don't matter what I'm doing, it don't matter, like, bro, like, people always, not, not even people, women always staring at me, dog. I put this on my soul, like, like, sometimes, you feel me, it be feeling good, but other times, you feel me, like, say I'm not having a good day, or I'm just, you feel me, geeked or whatever, I walk into a room, you feel me, sometimes it feels good, you feel me, I like the energy, sometimes, you feel me, I don't even want to be seen, but it's like, it's always happening to me, because everything I told y'all, I do myself, but you feel me, I can make hella videos on how to talk to women, but it's like, this, this gonna be the first thing, you feel me, that's just three simple ways you can approach and talk to anyone. All right, so look, I went to go edit the video, y'all, and I realized that I didn't even tell you how to like actually like use your two feet and actually like walk up and approach her. So look, after you got all those three things in order, because you feel me, you can't have no social anxiety when you approach a woman. That's, that, come on, bro, you better than that. So look, after you feel me, you got your confidence in you, you feel me? Let's say you walk into a room and you see the girl you want to talk to, you feel me? Before you approach her, make sure that you have at least seen her look at you first. She already done looked at you, because like I said, woman pay attention to everything. But once she's already, like, you feel me, looked at you and gave you that approval, well, even if she ain't give you that approval, if she looked at you, you got, look, y'all, when I say y'all, I mean, I used to do the same thing. When you approach a woman, make sure she's approachable, because you feel me? It don't, it's no point of approaching a woman, you feel me? You see that she's busy, and then you just gonna get mad right after because she busy. Oh, she dubbed me. No, nigga, you got her when she was busy. Like, come on, bro. You gotta, you gotta do better than that. So look, once you see that you feel me, she's approachable. And also, you gotta, you gotta make sure that you feel me. Oh, somebody just added me on Snap. You gotta make sure you feel me that you are presentable. Like, you feel me? Like, handle those three things and make sure she, you, you feel me? Not giving her no vibe because it's like you can tell if a woman don't want you to approach her. So once you find out that she's approachable, and once you feel me. You see the, I don't know, like, when you see the window of opportunity, you take it, here's what you do. You got to walk up with your chest out, you feel me? You got to just play some music, like, what's up? You feel me? Don't, don't, don't do too much. Don't, hey, how are you doing? What's your name? No, don't, don't do none of that, you feel me? Just play it smooth, you feel me? You got to talk to her like, it don't matter if she talks to you back or not. Because right after the conversation over, you going to go handle your shit, you feel me? Because you on your purpose and you don't, you don't care about her, you feel me? Women love it when you don't care about them. And even if you care about them, you can never give them the impression that you do. Now, in saying that, you feel me, do those three things, get on your shit. Oh, and last but not least, to make things simple, talk to her like she one of your niggas. Don't talk to her, you feel me, like, don't don't put her on a pedestal, bro. That shit lame. But yeah, this is it. Y'all got any questions? Y'all want me to do a video on anything? Y'all got any... Y'all want any story time? Look, just comment and subscribe. Share this with your friends. I'm out.